You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamad Shaban. Good evening. During his visit to the United Kingdom, the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, met with British Home Secretary Suela Braverman. The meeting was attended by Bahrain's Ambassador to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and Assistant Chief of Public Security for Operational Affairs and Training, Brigadier General Mohammed Al Haram. The British Secretary welcomed the visit of the Minister of the, to the United Kingdom, lauding the distinguished relations between the two friendly countries, affirming her country's readiness to continue constructive cooperation with Bahrain in various security fields. For his part, the Minister of Interior commended on the outstanding historical relations between the two friendly countries, which extend for more than 200 years, praising the bilateral security cooperation and the positive results achieved by the Joint Security Work Team through enhancing the existing aspects of security cooperation and discussing future projects in a way that contributes to opening new horizons for exchanging experiences in the security field. The Minister of Interior also expressed his thanks to the British Secretary for providing the electronic entry permit system, of which the Kingdom of Bahrain will be one of the first countries to benefit from. Meanwhile, the Minister reviewed the programs of Bahrain in promoting community partnership, citizenship and belonging, which were initiated based on the royal vision of His Majesty the King, pointing to the launch of the National Plan to consolidate the values of citizenship and identity. The two sides discussed areas of security cooperation and coordination, exchanging expertise within the framework of strategic partnerships, continuous communication and joint work to address security challenges, in addition to a number of security issues of mutual concern and regional developments. In a related context, the Minister of Interior met the UK Minister of State for the Commonwealth, the UN and South Asia, and the Prime Minister's Special Envoy on Freedom of Religion or Belief, Lord Ahmed of Wimbledon. The meeting was attended by Bahrain's Ambassador to the UK and Director General of the General Administration for the Implementation of Alternative Sentences and Penalties, Sheikh Khalid bin Rashid Al Khalifa. Lord Ahmed of Wimbledon welcomed the visit of the Minister of Interior, noting its importance in strengthening bilateral cooperation and close relations between the two countries, expressing his pride in the existing ties that link the UK and the the Kingdom of Bahrain in many fields, noting that Bahrain is a friendly country to the UK and not just a partner. For his part, the Minister of Interior affirmed that the reform era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa stresses on the promotion of the values of democracy, tolerance, coexistence and political openness, which had a great impact in boosting the National Human Rights March and consolidating justice, pointing out that human rights are an integral part of Bahrain's culture and religion. The Minister also noted that the Alternative Penalties Project is a bright and distinct font for the human rights file in Bahrain and that the improvement of the application of the provisions of the law of which the open prisons program is an important stage in its implementation is a breakthrough that reflects the wisdom of His Majesty the King by taking into account the social and human conditions of the convicts. He further affirmed that all inmates receive full rights and services prescribed by law including the right to education and training as the number of inmates studying and receiving vocational training reached 281. During the meeting Lord Ahmed of Wimbledon was briefed by the Director General of the General Administration for the implementation of alternative sentences and penalties on the most prominent achievements in the Alternative Penalties Project and the recent application of law on 558 inmates, raising the number of beneficiaries since the implementation in 2018 to about 5,450 inmates. The two sides also discussed areas of cooperation and coordination that contribute to the development of joint action, in addition to a number of security issues and regional developments. The Finance and National Economy Minister, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met with the Treasury Lords Minister in the UK government, Baroness Joanna Penn. During the meeting, the Minister of Finance and National Economy commended the long-standing relations binding the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UK. He noted the positive impact of historical ties on the financial and economic sectors in particular, which bolstered joint cooperation, stressing the importance of further bilateral relations and expanding cooperation to serve mutual interests. The Minister also highlighted steadily growing bilateral relations across all fields and stressed both countries' shared keenness on reinforcing joint economic and investment partnership to further promising opportunities. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the Bank of England Governor, Andrew Bailey. The Minister stressed the financial and banking cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UK and ways of further boosting joint ties to achieve aspirations and goals. The Minister also affirmed the importance of exchanging financial and banking expertise. Latest global economic developments were also discussed. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the Chief Executive Officer at Financial Conduct Authority, Nikhil Rati. The Minister highlighted ways of bolstering cooperation with the UK Financial Conduct Authority, stressing the importance of exchanging expertise and best practices in the field of supervision of markets and financial institutions. The Minister also noted Bahrain's strides in supporting innovation and financial technology and developing financial and investment services by continuing to work on creating solutions that bolster the economy. 
The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met Lord Mayor of the City of London, Alderman Nicholas Linus. During the meeting, the minister affirmed that long-standing historical relations binding the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UK commended the advanced level of joint financial cooperation. The two sides reviewed ways of further joint ties and expanding cooperation in addition to global economic developments. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adel Fakhro, referred to five major trends shaping the economic future of the Middle East region, including the rise of the artificial intelligence sector and the growth of e-commerce. In a published article by the World Economic Forum, Davos, the minister affirmed that the Middle East has enormous potential in the field of data that qualifies it for development and growth to attract large investments for economic diversification strategies. Fakhro added that moving away from dependence on hydrocarbons will help make the region's economies more resilient to face challenges related to climate change and global change. The minister stated that if these economies want to preserve their environment and economic well-being, the countries that still depend on oil and gas and that ignore the transformation of industries to become environmentally friendly will fall behind as investors are increasingly looking for climate-friendly investment opportunities. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence holds a ceremony to inaugurate the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration in Egypt. In the presence of ambassadors, diplomats, officials and affiliates of the King Hamad Chair for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence. The declaration, which is a document that expresses the thought and philosophy of His Majesty King Hamad, includes a set of principles that form the pillars of coexistence as a method for peace in the world and stem from historical foundations of coexistence in Bahrain and the sound religious approach. The declaration of the Kingdom of Bahrain is the guiding document for all activities of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence since its establishment as per a royal decree and it has focused on educational programs for youth. The King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence is a leading center in the world that aims to promote religi religious freedoms, interfaith dialogue, peaceful coexistence and human diversity as well as combat terrorism, extremism, violence and hatred. It has also launched many successful programs, initiatives and courses that reflect His Majesty the King's visions and cooperated with the most prestigious international universities including Oxford, Cambridge and Spienza with the aim of preparing a generation of young people who believe in the principle of coexistence, tolerance and acceptance of others. The launch of the Declaration in Egypt reflects a steadily growing deep-rooted solid bilateral ties which have become a model for relations between brothers at various levels thanks to the constant care of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and President Abdel Fattah Hassisi of Egypt. The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments said that the balance of the Zakat Fund of the Ministry amounted to 1 million and 100,000 dinars and that the funds are disbursed to the beneficiaries within nine approved projects and according to precise criteria. The Ministry stated that among the funds projects is a share of the debtor project which aims to pay the debts of those against whom implementation measures have been taken under judicial rulings and executive bonds within a set of standards and provisions enforced based on the requirements of the project. This came as the Ministry's response to a question raised by the Council of Representatives in which the ministry affirmed its continuous keenness to take care of the obligation of zakat and the essential role that the zakat and charities fund play through providing assistance to those who deserve it in accordance with the legal and regulatory procedures in addition to the projects approved by the fund.